Hello! Welcome to the second episode of the Be a Good Person to People with Cancer series. Today, I am joined by my unmade bed because, you guessed it, I'm too lazy to get out of it. Anyway, my name is Samantha and, uh, yeah. Okay, so if you clicked on this video, you probably know someone who has cancer and you're trying to figure out what to do for them because you like them and you want to do something for them and having cancer is hard. As a cancer patient, I am here to give all of you wonderful, wonderful advice. My advice is the best advice. This video is what to do for slash what to give to cancer patients and all the things in this video are going to be like my top favorite things that I got and my top things that I recommend. I think that there are some things that are just extremely, extremely helpful or extremely meaningful. So if you want to give a gift like that, then keep watching. When I was diagnosed with cancer, people wanted to know what they could do for me and they also got me a lot of gifts. Now there were some gifts that I got a lot of because I guess they are seen as things that cancer patients need. And I'm not complaining at all because everything that I got I appreciated and it made me feel loved that a lot of people wanted to help out. I'm going to go through those really quickly um, because these are things that are kind of in every chemo care package in the entire world. I got books, I got coloring books, I got like 40 million thousand blankets and if you know me I love blankets and I love being warm which is why I'm in bed right now doing this video. I got a lot of like lotions and uh, body products and I got a lot of things from people that are supposed to be like cancer free stuff like uh, cleaning products that don't contain certain chemicals that are known to cause cancer or something. I don't really know that much about it, honestly. I got a lot of journals, fuzzy socks. I love fuzzy socks, man. I got bags, which is kind of random, but like, it makes sense because when you go to chemo, uh, you're gonna be at the hospital for a long time, so having like a big bag of stuff to take with you is kind of nice. And I also got a lot of flowers, and that is the first thing that I want to talk about in depth because I absolutely loved getting flowers. I thought that they always brightened up a room. One of the things that I complained about a lot when I was on chemo is that I just never really felt clean. I felt like I had the hospital scent on me and the chemo smell on me all the time and the flowers that I had that people gave me just made it smell clean and flowery <laughs> and I and I like that but this gift is one that you have to be careful about because when you're on chemo a lot of smells can trigger nausea and I'm actually surprised that I enjoyed flowers so much because every other smell made me want to throw up uh, <laughs> If you're getting flowers for a cancer patient, I would smell them and make sure they don't have a really, really strong smell. Cause if they have a really strong smell, that would that would just that would just be the worst. <laughs> All the flowers I got were really awesome and like I said, I really enjoyed looking at them and they just made me feel happy. Okay, so the second thing that I want to talk about that is probably my favorite thing that I ever got while on treatment was just notes and letters and cards. When I was diagnosed, I was honestly overwhelmed with all the gifts I was getting, but the notes and stuff, they were just such a simple thing and they were always unique and it didn't make me feel like people were going out of their way to like get me something because it was just so simple. And honestly, just like receiving a note with the words that someone took the time to write sometimes means more than just getting an object because it shows that they're thinking about you, they're writing something specifically for you, and even though it doesn't cost any money, it just feels like it's from the heart. If you're struggling to come up with what to write in a note to someone, the first video in this series is what to say to someone with cancer, and uh, you can look at that video for some advice. I recognize that some people just aren't as good with words and maybe don't want to write a letter, so that's why there are other options in this video. Okay, so the next thing that I think is extremely, extremely helpful is gift cards to food delivery services like 
Grubhub or Uber Eats or DoorDash or whatever any of the other ones are. It's kind of expensive to be ordering from those places a lot because uh, it's just so much cheaper to go pick up the food or to go eat at the restaurant and the delivery stuff costs more money so having gift cards for that is just like super helpful. When you're on chemo you don't want to go anywhere and you don't want to do anything so having that food delivered to you is really awesome plus you're feeling nauseous all the time and you have specific cravings for certain things and certain things make you nauseous on certain days so having those options of all that food that you can uh, choose from is really awesome. This is especially helpful if they're living by themselves but even if they have somebody looking after them uh, things can get really busy. So the people that are living with the cancer patient and taking care of the cancer patient will also greatly appreciate those gift cards. So honestly, uh, that is one of the best things I think you can get people. That was gift cards to food delivery places. And then the other gift idea that I have is just gift cards in general. I mean, if you know the person and you know a place that they really like, getting them a gift card to that place is really nice because it shows you know the person and you want them to get something nice for themselves. But uh, what I really appreciated was that some people got me gift cards to places that just made really comfortable things. When you're going through treatment, you're gonna be in the hospital all the time and you're gonna be in bed all the time. So having a lot of really comfortable clothing is really nice. So yeah, I really, I really appreciated the people who gave me gift cards to places like that where I can get some really comfortable clothing and just feel cozy. And I don't know how many people have this problem, but when I was on chemo, all of my clothes that I had smelled horrible. My nose was so sensitive to smells and I don't know why. So my mom went out and she bought me a bunch of new clothes, but for some reason, just my old clothes, I could smell like the old sweat or something that never got off in the wash, which is crazy because I wear all those clothes now and they're fine. But when I was on chemo, nope. Nope, they smell bad. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think clothing places and stuff like that is really good, especially comfortable clothing or even uh, professional clothing if they're still working during chemo, which I was. And honestly, I, if I was doing it over again, I wouldn't work during chemo, but I was. Okay, so the next one is hats and scarves and stuff. If they're going to be going through chemo, they're going to lose their hair and having all that stuff was really helpful. My family just got all of it for me so I didn't even have to think about it. Uh, I didn't have to search for it myself. But um, if you're gonna do that, make sure you know the person well enough to know their style and the kinds of things that they would want. Or again, you can just get them a gift card to one of those places that sells uh, cancer headwear. But before you do that one, just make sure you know the person and that you know the treatment that they're going through. Some cancer patients don't even lose their hair because they're not going through chemo or they're not going through a type of chemo that makes them lose their hair. This next thing is for people who want to do a little bit of research. So a good gift is getting someone something that will help them recover from surgery. A lot of cancer patients have surgeries to get their cancer removed, but all cancer patients are different and they have different surgeries and so it comes with different types of recovery, which means that they would want different things to help them recover. I had a lumpectomy and a lymph node removal, which led to a bunch of problems after surgery. Uh, it was, I couldn't lift my arms. So if you just look up that surgery, you're gonna find a ton of things that help breast cancer patients with that surgery. So some examples are, I got these shirts that had little pockets on the inside where I could put my drain because after my surgery I had this drain. So that way I could walk around and have the drain in that pocket and I wouldn't have to hold the drain and stuff. I know a lot of people like to get front closing bras because they can't lift their arms up very well and doing this is really hard, especially if you have a mastectomy. There's pillows and stuff where you can like sit in bed and rest your arms on it because it's just, when, especially when you have the lymph nodes removed, your entire arm is just sore and if you just like touch it like a little bit, it hurts. And it's so weird to explain unless you know the feeling because 
you wouldn't expect it to hurt that bad, but it does. So yeah, I just look up their surgery that they're gonna have and look up things that people use to recover from those surgeries and all of those things are really good gifts. But make sure you get your information right and you know the surgery and all of that. Okay, so the next two things are more actions you can do rather than gifts. One thing you can do is babysit for them if they have kids. Obviously, I don't have any children, but I have just seen this so many places. When you're recovering from chemo, sometimes you feel horrible for an entire week. So if you're a mom or a dad, you really need some time to yourself sometimes to be able to relax, to be able to feel nauseous without having to worry about your kids and stuff. So I think just taking their kids out to do something fun with the kids because the kids are also probably a little bit scared and confused and worried about their parent. And like I said, I appreciated and welcomed all of the gifts that I got. Honestly, like things like books and body products and stuff are great, but if the person has kids, that's probably going to be a big thing that they want some help with so that they can get some rest, especially if they're young kids. Okay, so as a lot of you guys know, I am on this oral targeted therapy stuff that has a lot of the same side effects as chemo, but just not as intense. So sometimes I feel really sick, I feel really nauseous, and when I do, things start to get piled up in my apartment. And sometimes it's just so hard to force myself to get out of bed, to do the dishes, or to take out the trash, or to clean the litter box, because all those things have such strong smells that can just trigger the nausea so badly. So offer to clean their house for them. I was not living alone when I was going through IV chemo. I was living with my parents and oh my gosh, like I I can't even imagine living alone going through that. I can't imagine how messy my place would have gotten because I never would have wanted to do any of the things that smelled. I wouldn't have wanted to spray stuff. Like offer to clean something for them and honestly just go do it for them because no one wants to be like hey can you come clean my house i know it's kind of on the harder more effort side of things to help clean part of someone's house or to help watch their kids but those things are probably the hardest things that parents uh, have to deal with if they're going through cancer treatment so Really think about those if you are a close friend and you really want to help out. Okay, so I think that's all. If you are a cancer patient or survivor, leave a comment down below on some of the gifts that you got that you really appreciated. Help some people out that searched up this video. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Check the comments for more suggestions. If you want to follow along with my cancer journey, follow me on Instagram at Samantha Lynn underscore R. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you think my channel will help somebody, please share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you even doing? You should do that. Yeah, that's all. Bye.